Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can buy the Oasis Games token for the Oasis blockchain here at Japan. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and let's jump into this. For those of you who don't know, Oasis Games is a gaming ecosystem based out of Japan and they have their layer one hub layer, they call it, which is the consensus layer. And then they have what they call versus, which is their layer two scaling solution. We're going to be looking at buying the token on the layer one hub layer. We'll touch a little bit on the verse layers as well. But if you want to learn more about Oasis or some of the other top gaming chains, I have a full video with a bit more detail. I'll put a link somewhere here on screen and then down in the description. Today, when we talk about buying the token, we're going to look at the centralized exchange method as well as the decentralized exchange method. So I'll put timestamps down below. You can jump where you want to go. There are pros and cons for both the DEX or the CEX method. We're not going to touch on those too much here, but I will say that Oasis token, in order to use the decentralized exchange method, you will have to have some Oasis token for gas at one point when we go to swap tokens. So you're either going to need to get a gas token from a friend somewhere in Discord. You can usually ask around, or you're going to have to first use the centralized exchange method to get a little bit of funds there. And then in the future, you could use the decentralized exchange method. So I haven't found a faucet for the Oasis token, which is sometimes a method you can use, but I haven't found one I asked in Discord that doesn't seem to be one. So keep that in mind when you're choosing to go the centralized exchange or the decentralized exchange route. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this. The first thing we actually need to do is add the RPC, add the network to your MetaMask if you're using MetaMask. So of course we have Ethereum. We're going to add another network from the top left. It'll take you to this window and then we need to manually add a network. The details for what you need to put here are on the official Oasis docs. I'll put a link on screen and I'll put a link down below. And basically, na network name is Oasis. The token is OAS. And then you can copy and paste the RPC endpoints. I'm just using the main RPC, the Oasis one here. So that's the RPC URL and then chain ID 248 and then the Explorer ID, the block Explorer. So when you want to see the transactions in Explorer, they pop up here paste that in as well. And then you're going to go ahead and save this. Once you've done that, you can switch to Oasis right away. And in MetaMask, it's very easy from the top left corner to switch between your networks, Ethereum, back to Oasis, etc. Keep in mind the layer two versus the scaling solution. The verse layers are actually separate layers. They have their own networks that you need to add into MetaMask as well. If you want to go play a game, for example, on TCG verse, and you want to stick some Oasis over there to buy some of their NFTs, you will need to do that as well. They have their own documents. I can put some links in the description as well in for adding their RPCs. And then you will also need to bridge down to those layers. But for this, we're just covering the main Oasis token. If you wanted a breakdown of some of the verse layers, etc., let me know in the comments. So first of all, let's look at the central exchange method. For me personally, I'm using MEXC. The reason I'm doing this is because I have an account that I don't need to KYC there for, but you can use a number of exchanges. It accepts. Oasis is trading on OKX, Bitbuy, KuCoin, Gate.io, Mexi, BitThumb, and Hubo, Hubie. I didn't pronounce all those correctly, but I'll put this down in the description as well. You can use your central exchange of choice. It's essentially the same. If you do want to use Mexi, I will put a referral code down below as well. So you can go ahead and open an account. The first thing I recommend doing is going to the withdraw function on your central exchange and actually see if there's a minimum required or any kind of restrictions on what you can withdraw. So in terms of the Oasis token on MEXC, there is actually a 10 OAS restriction for the minimum. So I'm going to need to withdraw at least 10 of those. And as you saw, there was a one token fee. So in terms of the exchange here, I'm just doing a spot trade. The only option is OAS to USDT. So I'm going to swap a bit of USDT for Oasis token. I'm going to use the market price. You can use limit if you want to get a better price and you're not in a rush, but I'm just doing this for the demo. So I'm going to get it quickly. And once again, I'm going to put somewhere in about $10 USDT here. That'll go through pretty quickly. And as you can see, I got 174.9 Oasis tokens. So then we're going to go back to withdraw. We're going to choose the Oasis token. It's automatically going to choose the network for me. So you're just going to go to MetaMask. I'm on the Oasis network, but the wallet address is the same on ETH. But we want to be on Oasis so we can see the tokens when they get there. You're going to copy and paste your wallet address here. I would recommend copy and pasting it. That's the easiest way not to make a mistake. It automatically chose the Oasis network for me. So that's very easy. And then I'm going to do all the tokens. Once again, make sure you confirm that it is the Oasis network you're using to withdraw. You can confirm your address here as well. And then you, you know, the amount is whatever you want it to be. And then you're going to go ahead. And in this case, I need to get an email verification and my authenticator number. So I'm going to post these in here and then hit submit. Once you've done that, it'll take a little bit of time. And when it's there, you'll be able to see the Oasis tokens in your wallet here. 
So we're going to go ahead and wait. You can also track the status and it'll give you an update when it's done. And then when it's finished, as you can see here, I have 173.9 OAS in my wallet because there was a one token fee for withdrawal. Now, of course, you can leave your tokens in a centralized exchange, but I don't generally recommend doing so because it can be rather risky when you don't have custody of your tokens. And we've seen many central exchanges fail in the past. So I would recommend withdrawing them. The best case situation, if you're holding a lot of tokens, would be to put these in a hardware wallet. But at the very least, take them into your own MetaMask. And then next up, we're going to be looking at the decentralized exchange method. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to take USDC that we have on the Ethereum network we're going to bridge it over to the Oasis network, the Oasis chain, and then we're going to swap this USDC for the OAS token for the Oasis token. Now, in order to do the swap, you are going to need some gas fee. The bridge does not require gas to put tokens into your Oasis wallet, but when we swap the USDC for Oasis token, you are going to need some gas. So you either need to first do the centralized exchange method to get a bit of Oasis token, or you need to get some tokens from a friend. I recommend if you don't have a friend using Oasis, ask around in their Discord for anyone who can donate you 10, 50 cents. You don't need a lot for the gas fee, but you will need a tiny bit. So here we're going to be using the C bridge. I'm going to put links for all this down below. As you can see, I already have some Oasis in my wallet because we just did the central exchange method. So I'm going to switch back to Ethereum and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect my wallet to the site. We're going to make sure we're on the correct network. So we're transferring from Ethereum to Oasis, from Ethereum to Oasis. And there's a few options here, but we're going to do USDC, USD coin. You could do Tether, etc. And then if I put in 10, as you'll see here, there's actually a limit. Um, insufficient balance is not the correct thing. So first of all, connect our wallet, like I said, because it needs to read the wallet to know what tokens are in there. Now it's going to tell me in a second that 10 is not enough. You actually need to use the C-Bridge. You need to do at least $20. So keep that in mind. 20 is the minimum. So I'm doing $21 in USDC here. It gave me a second where where the bridge wasn't working. But if you just leave it for a second, it'll eventually switch and say, okay, you have enough, we're good to go. And then you can do the thing. As you see, it says bridge rate too low. That that changes after a second. And then it just allows me to do it. So I just did be a little bit patient here. Then when it's ready, you can go ahead and you can approve USDC. It's gonna pop up in MetaMask. You're gonna have to confirm. I always change this number. I set the limit cap to something. In this case, I'm just gonna do $1,000 because I don't think I'm gonna swap $1,000 over this bridge ever. And I'm gonna hit next. That number has to be bigger than what you're doing. That's all it really requires. So in this case, $21 would have been enough, but I put it to a thousand. Approve the gas fee, and then it's going to take a couple seconds to approve the tokens, and then you're actually going to do the transfer, which once again will take a little bit of time before the funds are actually in your wallet. So when it's approved, and when the bridge realizes it's approved, it'll switch to transfer, and then you can go ahead, double check everything here, the amount you're sending. That is the token ID, which is fine. And you can see one USDC on Ethereum is worth one USDC on Oasis. It's going to take about five minutes to do and there's a fee of 0 0.000 very cheap fee to do this so that's fine so once you're confirmed you're happy with the amount you can go ahead and confirm the transaction approve the gas fee the bridge is actually going from your own wallet so you don't have to worry about entering a wallet address for the deposit on the other side it's going to stay in metamask it's going to use the same wallet address from eth to the same wallet address on Oasis. And this is what I was checking here. And so all you have to do when you're ready is confirm the gas fee and it'll take about five minutes for this to complete. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead here. When the transaction is finished, you can see the pending icon on the bridge was done, but you can't actually see the tokens in your wallet. So if you click history, there's a little MetaMask symbol here. You can click add to MetaMask and that will put the USDC token into MetaMask. There's another way to do that, but this is going to be the easiest way to add the token into MetaMask. And now that it's there, you can see that I have 20.999 USDC because there was a slight fee for using the bridge. And then the final step over here is we're going to use teal swap. So I'm going to connect my wallet. I've already signed this once. We're on the Oasis network. As you can see, we have our USDC and I have a bit of Oasis already from before, which I'm going to use for gas. As I mentioned, you need that. So we're going to go from USDC and I'm going to exchange it over to more Oasis tokens. I'm going to do the entire $21 that we just bridged and I'm going to swap it over to Oasis and it's going to give you the exchange rate and you're going to have to approve it. This is the only DEX I'm aware of that's officially recognized by Oasis. So you don't have a lot of options to shop around. You're probably just going to have to eat the fee they charge you, but you can see it's it's not too bad in terms of price and then once again set the spending cap i'm just going to put it up to 100 bucks so then you're going to go ahead and you're going to approve the usdc just takes a moment and then it will pop up in metamask and once again this is approving usdc on the protocol once this is done you'll actually be able to do the swap and as i mentioned when you do this swap it will require you have a bit of oasis for gas but because we did the centralized exchange method first 
I already have Oasis in this wallet. I already have gas fees, making this very easy. When that's done, you can go ahead and click swap. Once again, there is a fee here. It's going to cost us 3.6 Oasis tokens to do this swap. We're going to go ahead and confirm that in our wallet. It'll tell you the gas fee as well. Once again, very cheap for gas on Oasis and confirm. Once that's done, it'll give you this little check mark and tell you how much you Oasis you've received. And then you can go ahead and open MetaMask and you can see here that now my tokens are 536 Oasis. So there you go. Now you've done it with the centralized or the decentralized exchange method and you've purchased some Oasis tokens and you've got them in your Oasis wallet on the Oasis network. Now as a bonus, I thought I'd just throw this in here for those who want to know once you have some Oasis token, what can you do with it besides holding on to it? Well, one thing is you can stake it. They have a staking protocol at hub.oasis.game slash staking. Once again, we'll put the link in the description. They have a selection of validators that are partnered with Oasis. When it comes to validators, if I had a large sum of money, I might distribute this amongst a couple of them. But because this is only about $25, 500 Oasis tokens, I'm actually just going to pick one. And I think I'll just go with Ubisoft. And as you can see, the APR is about 9.5%. And the distribution happens. I'm not sure how often it happens. It may be 24 hours, but there's a countdown there. So you can just go ahead, choose whatever you want to stake. I'm going to do 500. Keep in mind, as you can see at the bottom, there is a unstake period of 10 days. So you can't get your funds back right away. But gas is very cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and stake this for demonstration purposes and success. Now that'll be reflected in the top. You can see I have 100 at Ubisoft Lab. And then at any point you can click the button, you can switch between staking, unstaking, or claiming your rewards. And once again, keep in mind, there's a 10 day period for unstaking. So you can't unstake and get your funds back right away if the coin pumps, which is maybe a reason you don't want to stake it. But you can do that if you want and you can claim rewards. We're on, there's the epoch and the next set of rewards is just under 24 hours. Anyways, that's everything for the tutorial for now. Have yourself an amazing day. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you all for watching. See you again next time.